Hi guys, today I wanted to show you XLAN 2. XLAN 2 is part of XLAN. It is a new uh, material set of materials uh, and functions that break up landscape uh, repetition based on the new uh, XBOM 1 and 2 functions found in the new versions of XI Plus and Excite. And if any of you have bought any of my other products in the past will know that I like to constantly update them with new versions and give you as many possibilities as I can. And this is exactly what's happening here. Uh, as you can see, here's a basic material and this is after it's gone through XLAN 2. So with that, let's have a quick look into the differences between XLAN 1 and 2 and some of the parameters. And here I have a landscape that I just created and applied a basic uh, landscape material to it. And you can obviously see the uh, tiling repetitions here. And uh, if I switch this to uh, XLAN 2, you can immediately see the difference. Uh, both are using the same exact uh, texture set, but obviously one is repetitive and one is not. Uh, let's quickly look at the difference between XLAN 1 and 2. So if I come and open the instance of XLAN 1 and also the instance of XLAN 2, let's quickly have a look on what's happening here. Um, the basic uh, setups here are exactly the same for both. Um, the auto setup, terrain, normal, distance, splat, displacement are all the same. Uh, as is the uh, grass node and wetness for both. Uh, so I have kept uh, exactly the same um, structure um, and philosophy. Uh, also, uh, the other thing is I've also changed the naming conventions of uh, XLAN, the original XLAN, from grass, rock, ground, etc., to layer 00, zero, zero, zero 01, etc., to match uh, XLAN 2. So both um, are seemingly exactly the same, so it's easier to switch between one or the other. Uh, the main real difference comes in this area here for both, which is how the uh, either two materials uh, break up repetition. Again, uh, the first part here is uh, quite similar in both, and uh, some of the more conventional ways of breakup, like color variations, brightness, etc., uh, are a little different, but are, are quite easy to follow, and they are below the main uh, breakup here. So let's. Uh, I wanted to show you how it uh, looks and how it works. So uh, let's just go quickly through this and uh, see what uh, the different parameters uh, do. So the first thing to note is the rotation variation. This is a uh, way to control the random rotation for each tile and if I turn this to default which basically is zero which turns it off you can see the difference and on and if I actually maybe adjust it you can see how it uh, works uh, you have the same for the uh, position variation in the X and Y uh, it does exactly the same job, but it translates each tile randomly in the X and Y. You have the legacy blend here, and I'll come to this back uh, shortly. Uh, the blend mass scale controls the way or the scale of the mask uh, uh, between the layers created in each texture set. So you can see just by changing this that I can change the uh, pattern of the randomness. Here you have the blend scale variation in the near, mid, and far, and this is quite important in that it delineates the scale difference between the two layers created. So at 0 0.5, it means that one uh, layer is 50% uh, of the other. And if I sort of change this, you can see what's happening. Here it's at 7.9. I can increase it to maybe um, another number or uh, come back to where I was. And you can do that for each uh, of the camera distances, near, mid, and far. Here we have the blend distance variation, which uh, changes the distance uh, of one layer versus the other layer within each texture set. So again, playing with this parameter, you will find um, that um, you can change again the uh, pattern of the randomness. Here we have uh, two important parameters, the blend radius and density. 
and together uh, they delineate the amount of randomness applied to each tile. Uh, obviously, uh, if I push this up to extreme, which would give me the highest amount of randomness, you may get some uh, visible seams. So again, this is a matter of finding the right balance and um, you will see that it's quite easy to adjust it and find the one that works for you. Uh, same with the blend density here. You can adjust it accordingly and find the same um, sweet spot. Here in the edge breakup, it's uh, a way of breaking up the edges of each tile created. Again, uh, playing with it, you will find uh, what suits you best. Uh, back to the legacy blend, uh, not to be confused with uh, XLAN 1, even though uh, it is used in XLAN 1, but it is uh, just the blending of the layers itself. And uh, basically, uh, you get a blend amount here instead of the radius and density. And uh, that gets combined into this sort of a blend amount. Again, uh, playing with this um, uh, parameter here to find the sweet spot is um, a way to uh, find the best uh, sort of non-repetitive position without any visible seams, uh, which again gives you another option if you wanted to go that route. Um, again, um, playing with all of these parameters uh, together, uh, you will find that it's quite easy to set it up in a way that uh, you can get a non-repetitive uh, tiling. Um, with that, guys, I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, take care and good luck with your projects. Bye.